Kiros, who is a really good poultry vet. My main, my main but obviously interesting business is, is avian specialist yeah. veterinary work. Yeah. And we do everything. We even spay chickens. If you want yeah. something of interest, you should be looking at what what's happening about avian avian malaria in the UK. In the UK. Because avian malaria. Yeah. Tell me that is because I don't know about it. I think it's a bigger problem than what people think. Is this and because of the, the the warmer climate yes, and yes, the global warming? So they're talking about humans beginning. It's a birds. No, 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 no. Avian, avian, avian malaria is plasmodia. And the plasmodia lives in the red blood cell, like with human malaria, yeah. but it's now becoming endemic in the UK. In fact, I think it killed off a load of penguins in London Zoo a few years ago. Really? Um, yeah, and I think it's, well, we, we've had we've had people that keep their like macaws outside. Mm. I did a blood sample six months ago, it's clear. Now it's got avian plasmodia. They're being bitten by, they're getting it from insects, are no, they? Either mosquitoes or culicoides, the mid, mid, midges. And what are the symptoms? Varied. It's, 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 you can't pin it down. No, you can't. And actually, yeah. if you look at it, there's no validated research on it, so we don't really know all the symptoms. So or, we pick it up almost incidentally, but often the bird's got a problem, and you wonder, is it related? I just had a rook the other day. We've got people got pet rooks, and that's full of avian plasmodia. Do you have to quarantine it? Can it, can it be passed between birds? Do you think? Or? Yes, but, but it's got to be passed by the, the by the midge or the mosquito. It's not a blood to blood or body body fluid. No, no, it's no. got it needs the it needs the insect. Chickens could be getting it. I mean, chickens get you know. Yeah. Again, we may have to start modifying our, our management because if you've got lots of um, food material which attracts. You know, midges. midges and stuff. That then could be, you know, that could be a way of transferring well, the this, disease. Guys like this who are showing their birds. Obviously, their birds are prime, and if they get it, they're right because of their breeding well, stock. Well, I suspect that if you blood sample, randomly blood sample the birds in these, I bet now you probably find quite a few are infected, but and it could be insidious type symptoms. So, in other words, people, you know, birds not quite white, not you know, not yeah. producing as well they as it should thrive, be, because yeah. there'll be some immunity generated, but some will probably just die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get birds that just fail to thrive. Really. Really. There's no obvious thing or symptom or sign. You could take them to the vet. They'll say, even an even vet would say, I don't know what it is, can't really put a finger on it. Let's keep an eye on them, let's bring them back. The bird might die, but you just really can't put your finger on it. Unless you want to invest in getting a post-mortem from a chicken savvy vet, you're not going to find it. And most of these breeders, because they're breeding show birds, they obviously don't want to breed on anything with a defect or have anything unhealthy in their pens. They might unfortunately have to colour bird like that out of their colony so that they're not breeding from it. Shelter is quite a nice idea. I'm looking at that. I've just taken a couple of photos. It's nice if you've got birds that are kept outside, haven't got an awful lot of cover to go under in the rain. Obviously, we like to keep them under cover, and their food has to be kept under cover. Then there's a day shelter, and it's got um, a slatted area under the feeding so that all the food can drop through so there's no mould underneath. But also, it's covered so when it's raining, they can go under the cover. Fabulous idea, brilliant idea. Do you sell a lot of them? Well, we've just introduced it. People have ah, asked for that's it. Why it's new. I think it's got something to do with the wet weather we're getting. Yeah. That type of pen is popular because they can go underneath yeah. and they've got shelter and shade in the summer. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So the houses that offer that are quite popular. All right, take a photograph. <laughs> I didn't get anywhere with my frizzle, but the quality that's in here yeah. um, is fine. That, there's some beautiful frizzles. Aren't they gorgeous? They are, they are nice. Both have some Japanese. Oh, I love them. They've got, such short, they've got the shortest legs of any bantams, and I used to have some, but they've got continually always muddy. Yeah. See how small these legs are, look. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a male. He's a young male. He's bred this year. So he's very so, young. Yeah, he's this year's breed. And you have to have the um, enough black in the wing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and you have to have nice... Tail. Look at that, look at that. These, these can actually grow longer. Some are sticking straight up and some are, are, are curling over. What, what should they be doing? To Home. me, mm -hmm. I like them straight up. I like them st straight sticking up. Sticking up, yeah. They're straight up. You can get some that they really curl like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you would say, that's not too bad. You should have like half a black feather and half a white feather. Oh, look, yeah, so the feathers are yeah. divided. Look yeah. at that, look. Yeah, he could be blacker. Good. This one will actually go into the breeding pen. I'm really pleased with him. Yeah. Being a really good Japanese judge. Yeah. And he'll go through all my birds and he'll give me the direction and support that I need for a breeding program. That's really next good. Year. That's brilliant. Fantastic. And you also look for a nice, nice comb that sits on the head. Yeah. 
It's got nice size. Yeah. Nice even serrations. Do they have to have a certain number of points on the cone? They like about five. Yeah. As long as they're even. He could have a better cone. Yeah. But he's nice. And they like long wattles. Long, long wattles. And it's yeah. even in these wattles. Yeah. It's even. I'm going to do my final bath the night before. And they say you shouldn't. But I do my white bath the night before. Um, where they're, they're cleaned, all the wings are done. They're dunked in a uh, Ricketts Blue Bank. Yeah. I've got some of that. Oh, yeah. Big dip back it, swizzle it round, wrap it up. Then they're all lined up in my bedroom like before. On their perches. Oh, right. Um, kick clean. Yeah. Then they're putting the jumping yeah. boxes. And how much, he's a new bird, how much training are you putting in with him to get him to stand straight and be held and... Well, obviously right and from the end and they're born, if I like the bird, if the legs are short enough and I like the way they're growing... You start handling They handle well. it, handle it all the time, as yeah. many times as I can. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I bath them at young beds, stand them in, bath and wash their feet, mm -hmm. just so they're used to being handled. He's sitting in my hand, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got him there, he's fine. Yeah, I've fine. got him there, he's lovely. Mm -hmm. And just go in the shed, put the bird out, and just walk around it like this. These are a juvenile exhibitors, so they're, they're kids, um, maybe children of breeders, showing their chickens. What's your bird's name? Foxy Junior. Foxy Junior? Wings should be down. Yes. And, and they should have five points on their cone. Five points on their cone, yeah. And look yeah. at how that tail's sticking up beautifully, isn't it? Yeah. And, and it doesn't matter what colour they are, they could be any colour. Any colour, so, but she ha it's the posture that's important, isn't it? Yeah. The way that she stands. I can show you how she stands. Yeah, show us how she stands. And you've trained, have you trained her to do this, Charlotte? Yeah. Have you? 